Hello guys, this is Becca, and I'm here with little Mary Ella, and Mama got her all dressed in her little blue romper. She's adorable. Her's just adorable, guys. I just love this baby girl. I just love this baby girl. And we also have, let me, let me lay her right here just a minute. So we can show you this, you little girl. We got Nevaeh and Nadine here. And Mama just could not take her out of this pretty little dress. It just looks so cool and so vintage. And it just looks really good on her. And Mama just couldn't bear to change her right now. So her still in her pretty little summer dress. She reminds me so much of when my babies were little, my real babies. All right, guys. Let's see if I can get her arm down where you can see. See, Ooh. let's go in a little bit more. Sorry, I'm trying to get this fixed. Come on, baby. Get up there on your bed. No, get on your bed. <sighs> it is so hot, guys. It is so hot. Whew. Well, if you're new to my channel, on Saturday, I do a series called Rocking with Becca. And so that's what we're doing today. Uh, I usually think the only time I do a face video, face up video is on Saturdays, but yesterday I did a, a tag that answering questions and um, I did a face up yesterday, but I don't normally do one except on Saturday for Rockin' with Becca. And, uh, it's just a day that I just sit here and hold the baby of the day and uh, just talk with you. And uh, I do shout outs and I um, talk on a topic or something like that. So I want to insert right here, right now, if there's anything that you would like for me to talk on, if you have a question uh, for me, something you want to know, um, or you have a topic you would like for me to talk on or something like that, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And uh, now I'm reminding myself of my younger sister, uh, Sassy Granny Vlogs. Uh, she's a crafting channel. She always has to get herself right in the center of the of the camera and that's why I moved it because I wasn't quite right in the center of the camera. <laughs> I reminded myself of her. But anyway, um, yeah, if there's anything you would like for me to talk on or you have any questions for me or uh, anything you would like to know or anything like that, just leave it in the comments and um, I will address it in one of my Rocking with Becca's. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I've already showed you the babies of the day, which is my Mariella and my uh, Nevaeh Nadine. And uh, my shout out for today is a new channel I just found a couple of days ago. And I've only had a chance to watch one video. Um... But I really enjoyed the one I watched. It was the latest one, you know, her, or her, let me say her newest one, however you want to put it, at the time that I was watching it. Uh, I think she has another one up I hadn't watched yet. Uh, but I've only watched the one, but I really enjoyed it. And um, she's a small channel, so I would like to give her a shout out. Her channel name is Southern Reborns Nursery. And I will have her link in the description 
So you can just go and click on her link and go check out her channel. She only has 270 subscribers. So, um, um, y'all run on over to after you watch this video, after this video, <laughs> run over to her channel and check her out. She may be some, you know, a channel that you would enjoy watching. So if, if that's the case, then subscribe to her, give her some YouTube love, and let her know that I sent you. She don't know me, I don't guess. I Like I said, I've only watched the one video, and I think I commented on it. I'm pretty sure I did. But, you know, just let her know that I sent you. Um, so... That's our babies of the day, and that's our shout out, and I let my new subscribers know what this little series is all about. Macy was trying to pull her blanket. You pull it on up there. Grab it and pull it up there. She's wanting her blanket on the bed so she can ball it up and lay on it. She's not on her little bean bag today. It's, it's hot, and that bean bag, she sinks down into it. I don't I think when it's, she's too hot, she don't like to get on it. I keep a blanket on it, um, which might be the wrong thing to do. But I found she don't get on it as good if I don't have a blanket over it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the topic today. Um, you will learn, of course, uh, yesterday's video was long also because it was a pretty pretty good many questions you had to answer and when I answer a question I have to elaborate on it I can't seem to just give an answer and go on um, so my video yesterday was pretty long but you'll find that most all of my rocking with Becca videos are long um, so you know it's it's a good video to watch when you need to sit down and rest a little while get you a cold glass of iced tea or or whatever, ice water, whatever you want to cool you off in this hot weather. Sit back and relax and rest a while and watch the video. And when it's over, then you'll be had your rest out and ready to go again. <laughs> so, um, this topic come from Anne's Colorful Life. If you don't know Anne, um go over to her channel. I will have her link in the description also. And um, she asked a question, and so I'm going to do my best to answer it. Her question is, what are your favorite things about Paradise Galleries dolls and Ashton Drake dolls? What are your least favorite about them? Okay, I, I'm fixing to <laughs> tell you, um, okay, she mentioned Paradise Galleries first, so I'm going to tell you my, my likes and then my dislikes of Paradise Galleries, and then I will go to the Ashton Drake. What I like most about Paradise Galleries is that their babies are so cuddly. They're just cuddly. Um, they're soft. They're, um, their bodies are just amazing. They're not weighted quite heavy enough, but they're fine for me. Um, they, they're just really snuggly, and their dolls are beautiful, beautiful. They don't have a whole lot of, uh, duplicates, and what I mean by that, they do have some. Lately, they've been doing more duplicates than what they had been doing, but, I'm talking about when I say duplicates is babies that looks a whole lot alike that just maybe one or two little features on their face may change um, they pretty much use the same sculpt but make different dolls 
is what I mean by duplicate. Um, maybe they will change the hair color or they will change the, the skin tone or just, you know, make straight hairs to the curly hair or whatever, you know, just kind of change up the same sculpt to make it look like a different doll and name it different. That's what I mean when I say duplicates. Um, but Paradise Galleries don't have a whole lot of duplicates. They have lately put up more duplicate, duplicates than they had in the past. And uh, Paradise Galleries, if you happen to see this video, matter of fact, I will tag you Paradise Galleries so you can uh, maybe watch it and uh, hear the suggestions. Um, but I don't like duplicate dolls. But that is one thing I have liked about Paradise Galleries is that uh, they didn't have a whole lot of duplicate dolls. That each doll was its own individual. Um, and like I said, lately they've been doing more duplicates. But um, I like that each doll was different. That there wasn't a whole lot of them that looked alike. And um, I love that about Paradise Galleries. Love it. And I love their... The, the bodies that they put their babies on, the the way they stuff them, they just they just lay on you when you snuggle in them, and and this is not a Paradise Galleries, this is a Reborn, <laughs> but I'm just saying they just you know contour to your body when you're snuggling them, and and they just feel oh so snuggly, and and like I said, they have beautiful dolls beautiful dolls and I love their prices love their prices I hope they never go up on their prices and they have stayed in their price range even in all of this inflation and and price you know inflation and stuff rising and and they have stayed they have managed to stay in their price range and I, I appreciate appreciate that so much of Paradise Galleries that they have done that and uh, my least favorite thing about Paradise Galleries is that their dolls look more like dolls than they do like you know reborns they look more dolly um, you know Instead of looking more realistic, they look more doll-like. That's the least thing I like about Paradise Galleries. If they could somehow or another fix that. Now, Paradise Galleries, like I said, if you're hearing this, I'm going to tell you a few of your dolls that I think are amazing. Amazing. And that's the, I think her name is Sweetie Pie on your website. I'm thinking that she's amazing. I still, to this day, think she is the best doll you've ever made. I love her. Um, I love the um, uh, Nadia. She's amazing. I love her. Um, I love all of your, like your... Um, Asian type dolls, love them. I love their skin tones. They are just gorgeous. They're just awesome. That's just all I can say. They are so awesome. And Paradise Galleries, I love that they have started doing rooted hair instead of um, wigs. Although the ones that I have that has wigs, they're not bad at all. Their wigs are not bad at all. Um, but I love that they have started doing the rooting hair. Another one that I love that I think is amazing is Pumpkin Spice. Love that little girl. But whenever they make uh, a doll that's real light skinned, it looks more like it's the vinyl showing. That it doesn't have enough of paint on it. Um, 
and therefore it looks more doll-like, where when you, they do the more darker tones, uh, skin tones, um, it looks more like skin than vinyl, and I love that. I love when it looks more like skin than vinyl. So I don't have any, really, any complaints with Paradise Galleries whatsoever. I love Paradise Galleries. I just wish that, that their dolls would look more like Pumpkin Spice and Sweetie Pie and Nadia, um, the uh, uh, Asian type ones that they make. Um, I just, I love those. I love those darker skin. And uh, they look more like skin than vinyl. So I really have no complaints at all with Paradise Galleries. Ashton Drake, and I will tag Ashton Drake in it too, in case they would happen to want to watch it. Um, I have quite a few complaints with Ashton Drake. I don't mean any harm. But this is just my opinion and my likes and dislikes. Now, I love the fact that Ashton Drake's dolls has that, you know, real, more realistic look. Um, most of the dolls has the more realistic look. I love Paris. I love T for Two. I love um, Adventures Awaits or Liam. Um, uh, let's see, what others do I have? I love um, uh, uh, Louisa. Um, let me think, is there any others that I just absolutely love in Ashton Drake? I love them as far as their facial features and as far as oh i love beach baby love her um as far as the facial features and all but ashton drake has a tendency to apparently they use i don't i don't know how they make their babies but um most of their babies look alike you know what i'm saying uh, it's just, it's more the toddler ages that is, like, has their own distinct features and all. Um, but when you get on down to, like, the, the newborn size and, and, you know, that type, they pretty much all look the same. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference in, in their looks. That's one thing I dislike about uh, Ashton Drake. But like I said, I love the fact that they paint them in a way that they, looks more like skin than, they look more realistic than doll-like. But <laughs> Ashton Drake, I don't mean any harm, <sighs> but I don't like the bodies. I don't like the bodies of the Ashton Drake dolls. Um, I just don't. Because I know they were made for when they, you know, more of like display dolls, collectors. They weren't really made to play with. But I love to interact with my babies. And, um, to me, their their bodies are horrible. They're it's like they're too short for what they're supposed to be. I mean, their bodies are just a little bitty. They it's not. It just I don't like the bodies of the Ashton Drake. My little Liam, I think it's Adventures of Weight Liam. Um, he can't even sit down. Uh, of course, he came with a stand. And I understand, you know, they made them as display dolls, as collector's items. But, again, I like to interact with my dolls. I like to dress them. I like to, you know, show them kind of in role plays and things like that. Liam cannot sit down. 
he has to stand up all the time or I have to lay him down. His legs won't bend where he can sit down. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> I do have quite a few complaints for Ashton Drake. I don't mean any harm. This is just my preference. You may love everything about it, uh, and that's okay, because everybody's different. But um, the main thing I love about the Ashton Drake is that they look more realistic than doll. You know, their skin tones, it, they're, they don't look, their vinyl doesn't look like vinyl, you know what I mean? Where in Paradise Galleries, there's quite a few of the babies that just looks like the vinyl, you know, I mean, just barely blushing on it, and it just looks like the bare vinyl, and um, that makes them look more doll-like when you do that. Uh, where Ashton Drake, their painting on their, you know, their vinyls is, looks more realistic. But the bodies are horrible. Just my opinion, that is just in my opinion. Uh, it hasn't stopped me from buying Ashton Drake uh, completely. I am lim I do limit myself. I do. <laughs> I pretty much stick with the toddler size with Ashton Drake. Um, because like I said, um, the bodies are just too short for the babies. They're just too short and um so i stick with you know i haven't had any problems except for that liam won't sit down uh but other than that on the toddlers i love the toddlers so if i'm looking for a toddler doll i go look at ashton drake um because i do love their toddler dolls but um if i'm looking for more of a um, newborn size, baby size, I, I guess I go to Reborns for that because, um, the Paradise Galleries, I'm trying to think, do they, they have, maybe have a few, Paradise Galleries may have a few newborn size. I can't, yeah, I'm sure they do. Uh, Coda Bear, I think, is a newborn size. Yeah, they have a few newborn size, but most of Paradise Galleries is more made, not really toddler, but between newborn and toddler. Kind of like three, six months, something like that. Um, so I guess if I want a newborn, I go to reborns for that. If I want in between newborn and <laughs> no, I don't ever really think of it that way. I just um, I'm not real fond of Ashton Drake's the little ones. Uh, I love their toddlers, so normally I don't even you know consider buying a, a like a newborn from Ashton Drake. But every time they put out a new toddler, I'm and the toddlers they have now that I haven't got yet, uh, I'm always thinking, oh, I'd love to have that one. I'm because I love their toddlers. I love their toddlers. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And as far as Paradise Galleries, oh, and Ashton Drake's dolls, I feel like is kind of. Of course, you know, I don't know what all goes into making a doll. And, you know, so I don't really know the price range and, you know, what it should cost and all. But um, some of their dolls, I feel like, is uh, for the Ashton Drake, some of their dolls, I feel like, is uh, priced a little, a little pricey. Um, but on the whole, you know, on the average of their babies and, and what they make and the price range is pretty good, reasonable. Uh, there's a few that I feel like is a little pricey. Uh, 
So really for what I, you know, like I said, this is just my opinion. This is, you know, everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. Um, this is just, don't let it uh, cause you to not like Paradise uh, Ashton Drake because of what I said. Because the way they make their babies' bodies may be just what you like. You know, everybody's different. Um, it's just, I personally stick to the toddler age with Ashton Drake. Now, <laughs> on Paradise Galleries, I pretty much like all of their dolls, except for, like I said, lately they have been making more dolls that looks more like their duplicates. This just has very few changes in their features and, and all that. I don't like that. I like, I liked, I loved the fact before that there was hardly any that looked completely alike. And um, I just hope Paradise Galleries will stick with that and not get to where they're making too many that looks alike. Uh, but I love, pretty much love everything about Paradise Galleries. And, you know, except for the fact that they could, you know, on some of their dolls, they, they really need to make them look more, their painting to make it look more realistic than, than a doll like. Like I said, pumpkin spat, pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin spice, sweetie pie, um, what was the other ones I named? Um, Nadia, um, then the, all the Asian ones, they look awesome. They're awesome. Uh, they could just, you know, add a little bit more paint. Don't let the babies be so pale looking. Or if you do use the pale, put enough of paint on it that it doesn't look like vinyl, that it looks more like skin than vinyl. Um... That's the only thing I dislike about Paradise Galleries. So, guys, uh, Hubby's back. He's driving up, and I think this might be the shortest Rocking Rebecca we've ever had. But uh, I've had a pretty busy week this week, and uh, I've put up several videos. And uh, a lot of the days I've put up two to three videos a day, so... I'm going to call it a day for this Rocking with Becca. Don't pass out because it's a short. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can uh, get cooled off a little bit and maybe do a little diamond painting. I have some washing. I need to switch over from washer to dryer. So I'm going to let y'all go. I hope y'all have enjoyed this Rocking with Becca. I hope you all have a great day and the rest of this weekend that you just have an awesome time and just be able to rest and relax and get ready for the new week and like I said if you have any questions for me that's something you'd like to know about me or if you have a topic you would like for me to discuss um, remember it's all my opinions everybody has their opinions Everybody has their likes and dislikes. So, um, you know, it's just my opinion on these topics. Um, but if you have anything you'd like for me to talk about, leave it in the comments. I'll write it down, and one at a time, I will cover the topic or the question that you gave me. Um, so, in the description is Southern, what was her channel name? Southern Reborn Nursery. Is that right? Now you watch me not be able to find it. Uh, yes, Southern Reborns Nursery. Uh, go check her out and subscribe to her. Give her some YouTube love. And uh, Anne's Colorful Life, go check her out. She's the one that uh, gave me the topic to talk about. 
All right, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I will talk with you all later.